What's good everyone? Welcome back to EMC. I got my boy Chris with me and we are going to CPA and we're gonna get a baseline dyno of his R8. episode of the R8 project. That's right. You guys are going to be seeing a lot of Chris because, you know, he's like the douchebag friend that Ryan and I have that, you know, that wears sunglasses when it's raining. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I want to let you guys know he's actually mixed. You know, he's half German. It's very interesting because his Chinese isn't that good. So we are using English, but actually German is his first language. So forgive him if, you know, his terminology isn't the best. All right, I heard that CPA actually had to take your engine out. I think yeah. there was a little bit of a problem, some engine yeah. oil leaking or something. Yeah, we had oil leaking there. We had oil leaking at the uh, suspension as well. So right. what CPA did was take out the whole engine and um, well, in general, the, the condition was was okay for a 14-year-old car. It was pretty pretty good. It's just only the wear and tear parts which um, need to be exchanged um, after 14 years, you know. And such things like uh, O-rings, rubber seals, and uh, gaskets. Um, yeah, so no major deals, no money. Yeah, I'm really excited because this is your very first time going to see a dyno, right? Yeah, I want to see what the dyno does. All right, well, it does get really loud, but we are just going to see how healthy your car is after the service. And then we will get into all the mods and we'll let you guys know what he's doing and how much each mod is because, you know, we're going to tally up everything for this project car. See you guys at CPA. Cheers. Dude, we just finished your first dyno, man. Yeah, first time ever. Super excited about that. Uh, let's see the numbers now. Yeah, so this is the best one out of a couple pulls that we did. Yeah, so um, we're, we're looking at the wheel horsepower now. Yes. That's about like, um, about 20% off from the crank horsepower. Exactly, because and, you have all wheel drive and yeah. the transmission and everything. So the power kind of gets dissipated through all that shit. So if it's 20%, 355 times 1.2 is about 420, 426. Yeah. That, that's 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 pretty much stock power yeah, right there. Exactly. That's healthy. It's healthy. I mean, for a 14 year old car. Yeah. And so you have uh, about 409, 410 newton meters of torque yeah. at 4,700 RPM. That's that's pretty good. To be honest, know? I didn't expect that. So for hey, I, I think you lucked out with your engine. You know, so we do have to thank CPA because they did a they wonderful did a job. job. Yeah. You know, they took the engine out, they checked everything. Yeah. You know, they changed whatever was needed to be changed. Ooh, and fucking big crosses, man. Yeah. Uh, the only problem that we have now is this exhaust on this car. It sounds kind of weird. Yeah, the sound is weird and sometimes there's no sound at all. So yeah. uh, we got to change that. Yep. So we got the Super Sprint race exhaust. This is going to be badass. Man. Yeah, without valves without valves so cpa is gonna do their job and you know they're gonna install the exhaust yeah. and uh we're gonna take the car to another shop yeah. to install some other goodies which you guys will see and chris and ryan will take you guys there and uh yeah let's get the vlog going see you guys later Peace. We're at CWC today. Uh, we're gonna have a couple more parts fixed today, changed today. So, as you can see in the back, we have the uh, suspensions over there. And, uh, oh, Ryan's coming in here. 
man, I'm excited. What's up, bro? What's up, man? How are you? Good, good. All right, so what are we doing today? Yeah, so today we got the suspensions. Oh, you got some KW. Yeah, KW suspension, oh, of course, man. Is, yo, this is the expensive set. Yeah. Sonny you made know, you do it, eh? Sonny made me do oh, it, yeah. yeah. See, you never want to ask this guy for his opinion, <laughs> because he will always tell you to get the best and guide LV, right? Exactly. So, so what's up? All right, tell me about these. There are a couple choices, actually, but, you know, as a German, German car, German suspension, so okay, KW is German. The Germans. Yeah. All right. So uh, this one's got a lift system as well. This is the front lift or all front four? lift. Front okay. lift. So okay. HLS two and okay. Uh, KW. Okay. V three. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Yo, look, this car was already fixed up, but when you know EMC gets the hands on one of these, we got to start over. And the first thing we do is. By guy Jiang Wei Shen, right? We gotta put it in its proper stance, and uh, that's exactly what the boys doing here, right here. Okay? Exactly. Okay. So, so uh, we're also gonna have the have the wheels fixed. Okay. So these are the old rims, but we're still sticking to the same size, like 20 inch. Okay. We're just gonna go wider now, 325. And I hear that uh, you got something special. You got some EMC wheels, or, or, or what's going on here? Yeah, yeah, EMC yeah. We, wheels. We really, Do we really see those don't, yet? Really don't okay. Oh. EMC wheels, 20 inch, 325 wide. Dope, right? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's sick, man. That's old school, right? Wow, I'm so excited. Uh, tell me more about the system, man. So yeah, so so this one this one comes actually in the trunk, in the front trunk. Okay, so uh, this, this is the, the lift. This, this is the, the lift pump. system. Yeah, okay. this is the pump. Okay. So I will have like a button and a remote controller. I can adjust it. Okay. All right, Chris. I can't wait. This thing is gonna be. It's gonna be know, dope. Well, EMC is gonna be like cars always off, bro. Yeah. Okay. All right, man. So uh, I'm happy that uh, you're getting all this work done, and I'm excited to uh, finally see the outcome. Uh, and uh, well, I gotta go. You know. All right. So uh, you, you know, very much. enjoy and send me pictures when it's done. Yeah. All right, man. I'm stick around here for a while. Peace, guys. Peace, guys. All right. Picked up my car from CWC. I have the whole suspension fixed, exchanged. So I'm running currently now the KW suspension, KW version three with the HLS two. That means uh, I got the lift system in the front, which is working quite well. So if I press the button here, for example, it goes up in like three, four seconds. So it's super fast. Um, same way down as well pressing it again and it's down already you see how fast this is I think it's not even four seconds it's like three seconds so I'm super satisfied with the new KW suspension you guys can hear wait let me get the RPM a little bit higher super excited for this project because this is my first time seeing the brand new designed EMC wheels. Wow, dude, this looks so good, bro. It's fucking good, right? Yo, you designed this shit really, really dope. Yeah. So this is the world premiere of on fleek EMC wheels. And you guys are seeing it right here. Well, you guys are probably seeing it. I haven't seen it. This is my first time, so damn. This is the perfect mix of old school vintage mesh 
style and just traditional two-piece step lift. Guys, this is so sick because it matches perfectly on this car. I love it, I love it. I love the old school design. It matches, it's, it's just like made for this car. I know, and the offset and everything, it just, dude, it's it's just sitting really, yeah. really flush. Not a, remember how, how far out it was before? Yeah. Now it's already. Well, I think you might need some new brake caliper colors or something yeah. in there, so it pops more, but guys, if you're interested in EMC on Fleek Wheels, Empire Fest, December 17th, this is when we're going to officially launch EMC Wheels, so be on the lookout for that, but I do want to check out the front wheels too, so yeah. let's, let's go check that out. Dude, check this out, man. This matches perfectly. Even for this type of fitment, where everything is very just you know, squished together. You somehow managed to get a lift, and dude, this mesh just looks so dope. But oh yeah, I heard you got the KWV3 yeah. and the HLS2, right? I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll close up. Okay, awesome, yeah, yeah. Forgive us for the sound because we have a ton of rain. Let's get the dyno going because I want to see the super spin exhaust, if it puts out more power or not. Let's get the professional here. The boss of CPA, Shao Hul Alban. He's gonna use Chinese, and uh, I'll try to do my best in English. This is the Okay. Okay. Timing. Timing. Okay. Then when he hits the brake, he's going to go down. Oh, so he hits the brake, he's going to go down. Oh, so he hits the brake, he's going to go down. Oh, so he hits the brake, he's going to go down. Oh, so he hits the brake, he's going to go down. Oh, so 这个时候就出现爆弹就往下跌啊对它爆震然后它有修正上来电脑修正上来它这边没办法它就掉下来了对所以它一直在起起伏伏起起伏伏啊 I see OK well 这个也就代表你就说汽油的一个问题对汽油不过来所以要加一点那个添加剂 and torque, torque. torque yeah. yeah, I think the torque is more noticeable, um, but I think it's you know 362 uh, compared to 355. Yeah, that's, that's an not improvement. improvement. Yeah, that's an improvement, and you can tell that it's throughout the rev range, throughout the entire graph, the red and the blue. You see that, and uh, it's a very healthy improvement in torque as well. Yeah. You know, some... so the red graph here is without the new exhaust. It was the old exhaust. Now we've put the new exhaust, the Super Sprint on, and we have a little improvement already. Yeah, man. Hey, thank you, Super Sprint. Good job. You guys are good. Hey, we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And uh, we got a lot more coming, right? I know you got more planned for this car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So next time you guys will see a new body kit. And as I already said, new color as well. So, All right. Well, let's not tell them too much because, you know, we want to surprise them, right? Yeah, but one so, more thing, one more thing. Okay. We see you. Oh wait, don't tell him that. <laughs> Dude, he's such a moron sometimes. All right, well he gave you guys too much, but just the last reminder, Empire Fest, December 17th. Look at our social media. All the new info is right there. We'll see you guys very soon. Peace. Stay tuned, peace.